This is the PS Vita, a what I see as a successor to the PSP. However, they are very different, and we're going to be going over some of the cool things that the PS Vita has, and we're also going to be looking at what the previous owner had on this device. Now, hate to say it, but there's not much of the previous owner on this device. Good, bad, see it how you want to see it. We're also going to be checking out features such as the web browser and seeing if that stuff still works today. If we flip it over to the back, here's what it looks like. Just a simple PSP, kind of Brandon, PSH, not PSP. That's what it says on the back, that's weird. And then Sony, PlayStation, and its camera. It also has a front-facing camera as well. So let's turn it on and do its super cool login. Turn the volume up all the way so you can really hear that. Yeah, that's nice, I like that. Uh, what first? Now, let me check if there's parental controls on this. Uh, set a password. So I'm gonna say there's probably not, which is good. So nothing's gonna be restricted. Uh, let's check out the welcome park. Let's see what that is. Here you can try out features of your PlayStation Vita system. That nice little stick figure guy back there. To pause an application, okay. What, do I click one of these? And now it's dim. What? Oh my God, did it just die on me? Oh. Whoa. Okay, this is actually really interesting. I mean, maybe I'll look at more of that later. I want to keep this video short and interesting. No. I'm going to short so we can things. Let's see if there are any friends on here. I'm going to go off screen real fast just in case it asks me to log in. And yes, it is asking me to log in. And that is indeed the previous owner's sign-in ID and password. And I don't want anybody coming after that person or sending them spam mail. One thing I know works is the browser. And this is actually kind of cool because just hang out in wherever. You don't have to go to the family computer and do all that stuff. You can just chill out in your room and browse the internet and watch YouTube and stuff. And that was pretty cool for, I don't actually remember when this came out. And it looks like this browser was not used because it still has the two default tabs, which I actually saw this thing, which is kind of crazy. Trend micro internet security. Um, actually was on this device. I don't know if it was preloaded. I didn't do any research for this video. You know, just kind of sat down and started the video. But it actually has Trend Micro Web Protection. I'm not sure what hacks there are out there. People trying to hack into your PS Vita and, I don't know, steal your Duke Nukem 3D game or something. Or maybe your username and password. I guess that's more of a problem. But it's a cool feature, nevertheless. Let's see if it'll let me go to YouTube. New tab. Um, mm -mm. Ooh, it's loading. Uh, I'm not sure if this formats them automatically in desktop mode or mobile mode. Now, the P... no, not PS3. The Nintendo 3DS that I have always formats them in desktop. Now, you can change it so it uh, shows you the mobile site, which is much more friendly for the little screen on the 3DS and stuff. But I'm not 
entirely sure why there's the option. I feel like it should just be mobile. And it looks like it's not wanting to load. I'm not sure if that bar is moving. It looks like it might have moved a little, but uh, looks like there's no free promotion for me, so. That kind of sucks. Hmm. Well, let's see if this actually does ever load. I'm gonna start a time lapse. Never mind on the time lapse. It appears it has fully loaded, and it looks like that's as far as we're gonna get, just showing a few bubbles in the corner. Maybe I can go to settings. Ooh, rear touchpad? I wanted to check that out, but it doesn't seem to want to be working right now. Weird. Hmm. Well, security, trend micro webs. Okay, we're good on the trend micro. And maybe it'll load a different website. So it won't load YouTube, it looks like. How about, hmm. This website's also very complex, but you know. Apple.com, how about that? Oh, well, looks like it's loading a very primitive version of the website. Uh, just a few <laughs> links and some very stretched out photos. Still not as bad as the web browser for the DS, not the 3DS. The 3DS one is bad, but not terrible. Ooh, let's go to photos. Yep, and that is my camera. <laughs> How about these? So there's a photo of a dog. Cute, I guess. Another photo of the dog. And that looks like that is all the photos. Well, these, there are these two, which are photos of the previous owner and some random cartoon characters. Oh, cool. How about videos? Let's see if there's any videos. Now the UMD was used in the PSP for playing movies and games. And maybe there were some TV shows, I'm not sure. But there were, as far as I know, I'm pretty sure you can plug it, this into your computer and you can load on videos. You also can probably, oh yeah, see, content manager, cool. And you could probably also record stuff with the camera for that. And then we're gonna see these games here. All right, Nod Nation Racers. Start that. That was the one that actually appeared in that. Oh, that's lame. Let's play some else then. Let's Duke Nukem 3D Megatron Edition, I think it said. Oh, yep, again, we're reaching it wants email and password. Oh, yep, same with this one. It wants email and password for this one too. That is a little, little bit lame. But as you can see, the PS Vita was an amazing console for the time. It had cool features, and it's very cell phone-like with its intuitive user interface and cute bubble design for the apps. It's not very PlayStation, where it's more gamery with PlayStation. However, I feel like Xbox, if they were to release a handheld, it'd be very gamery. So this is a good in-between mix. It's honestly very underrated, and it has some cool games. I unfortunately do not have any games for it, but I have seen it. And you can also see how high quality the screen is. My autofocus does not want to work, but it's very high quality when it comes to the pixels. I'm pretty sure it is 720p, which as some veterans of YouTube may know, that used to be called HD on YouTube. And while this is the PS Vita, 
and I thank you for enjoying this episode of iPod Exploration, as my channel hasn't been doing as good as it has been since the iPhone 5C video. And well, this has been a great ride into the past, and also seeing some of the cool features and things that the PS Vita had. Thank you all for watching so much. Like, subscribe, and do all of the bell ringing. I'm not gonna do the weird ding, 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 ding thing this time. Share with your friends, do whatever. This is the PS Vita, and this has been iPod Exploration.